What we want to do is we want to write the summation, okay, the, the sum of all these numbers in a more compact form, and that's what we call the sigma notation, this Greek letter here, E sigma, okay. And what you do is you, you want to pick a, a variable, okay, this is your index. Here I've said I equals 1, meaning I'm starting at uh, the first term is going to be I equals 1, and I'm going to work my way up uh, sequentially, okay, in order until I get to the nth term, that's the last term. So I'll show you what I mean. Let's take a look at some examples. So in this first example, notice what's happening here. We're adding two each time to get to the next term. So we need a formula for any term in this sequence. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the arithmetic okay, sequence formula. And basically what this is is the first term plus the common difference times n minus 1. Okay, So the first term is 3, but we keep adding 2 n minus 1 times. So this is going to be 2n minus 2 plus 3, which is 2n plus 1. And you can test that out. You can see when n is 1, you're getting 3. If n is you know, 4, you're getting 9, and so on. Okay, so this is uh, working with sequences and series. I have some other videos. I'll have some links for that for you to check out. But the main thing here is, how do we write this in this compact sigma notation? Well, we have a formula to find any term. That's 2n plus 1, okay? And we're going to say that n equals 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 terms to 8. Okay, now you're probably saying, well, why are you using the letter n? Well, you can use any letter you want. You could rewrite this as i equals 1 to 8 of 2i plus 1. You could say k equals 1 to 8 of 2k plus 1. But notice that whatever variable I'm using here, I'm using here, okay, so i, i, n, n, and so on, so that I, I know, and when somebody looks at this, they know that, okay, I start with 1, I put 1 in, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3, plus, okay, the Greek letter E, sigma, this means summation, which means we're adding these up. Now I put 2 in for k, that's 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, and I keep working my way until I get to this top number, 8, I put 8 in, I get 16, plus 1 is 17, and then I add all those together. Okay, so right now we're just practicing writing it as a summation, okay? So the next one, what's the pattern here? Like how am I getting from this term to this term to this term and so on? Okay, so we're multiplying by a half, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to start off, we're going to say our formula is 100, okay, times 1 half, we'll say i minus 1 times. So you start off with 100, you multiply a, by a half, by a half, by a half. So if I wanted to get to the 1, 2, 3, 4th term, I actually have to multiply by a half once, twice, three times, which is one less than the actual term that I'm on, term number 4. So i equals 1, and what's the top number here? Well, if you said infinity, you're right, because this keeps going. See the ellipsis, the three dots? That just means it keeps going. Okay, so this is just going to be uh, an infinite series, okay? It just